Hello, welcome to lesson two. We're going to learn to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star today. One of the things you're going to notice about this song is that the left hand is pretty tricky. I did that because I really wanted the song to sound good and put a challenge in front of you. You know, we're five songs in and it's good to challenge yourself every once in a while. If you're just starting out, it's really okay to do the right hand by itself and the left hand by itself, and then bring them together. The way this works, I play the song in a performance tempo, so the feeling of the music is there, and then I'll do a practice tempo, which is slower, and, and something you can work with each day. The third thing I'll do is play the melody with the duet part. And you can play with friends that way, it's really not designed that one person plays it. I'll just do it for an example. But the idea is when you play with a completely in independent part at the same time, not only does it sound better, but you have to know your part better. So it's a way of helping you have fun, but also learn the song a lot better. You keep track of it stronger when something else is going on at the same time. And if you're curious why certain things sound a little hollow or a little odd, it's because the duet part is built so that you can play the regular piano part with two hands along with the duet part. And uh, then it makes a, a more complete picture. So when songs are a little more simple, they have a tendency to so-so. Eh, but I hope you like it. All right, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first time I'm going to play through it uh, so that you can kind of feel the song and it's something for you to aspire to as you get better and better. One, two, here we go. There you go. There you go. Sometimes I call this song a musical sandwich because the top line and the third line are exactly the same. And in the middle is something different. If you notice that, uh, this, there's not quite as much to learn. It's not quite so intimidating. Uh, so anyway, I just want to throw that out if it saves you a little bit of time. If you notice, the finger spreads out so the fourth finger covers the G. Then your pinky is available for the beginning of the second measure, right? And you come back, all right? And then the left hand stays on the five notes. All right, let's do a practice tempo. One, two, ready, play. There you go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. All right. We're going to go right into um, the duets. So I do a performance thing with both parts at the same time. And then I'll play the duet part by itself. And you can play your regular melody from the book with the duet part when you're ready. Okay. So here's how it sounds. If you're performing it by uh, with somebody else, or if you're playing along with uh, the duet part and you doing the melody. So here we go. One, two, ready, go.
right? You notice that's a little faster. This is to come after you can already play the song, right? Not when you're trying to figure out the song, okay? All right, so here's the duet part by itself, and you would then play the melody or what's in the book for the song, okay? One, two, here we go. And there you go. When I was coming up playing the violin, I got about, um, well, I was about halfway through the second book. And then my teacher took me back to the first songs I learned and showed me the duet part. So if you get started and your piano playing starts to get good, you can come back and learn those duet parts. The duet parts are in a book at the back of the uh, website. Okay. I think of them in the back of the website. Anyway, there's going to be a link for them so that you can get the duet parts as well. And if you have a friend who already knows how to play, that can be a lot of fun. So uh, thank you very much for joining me. And we'll go on to go tell Aunt Rhody in the next video. Thanks.